Uh, Sean, thank you very much for having us here. I really appreciate it. Wonderful views, wonderful food. Uh, there are unusual challenges in that uh, there was a rather short lead time. It was, it was, uh, that was in November, and we really didn't get underway till January. Um, there was the establishment of the rules, and I found this a big problem because I actually had to take responsibility for something. Uh, additionally, the competition was only for Australian and New Zealand cellists, which, while good, gave me a concern as to whether we would be able to find a, a big enough body of cellists to do it. Also, Roland wanted to have the auditions in London and in, in Australia. It's been uh, a, a very interesting experience and very, very, very rewarding, particularly as we have come into hearing the, uh, the performers. They, they are a really a very talented bunch. Uh, but one of, the f one of the wonderful things for me is the reaction that we have had from cellists when Roland has invited them to join the panel. And they have all, quite willingly, uh, come in and given us their enthusiasm, their expertise. Now, the quality of the applicants, all th right throughout, was very high. Uh, there was a very, very short lead time for them to learn uh, three programs of difficult repertoire. Uh, and I'm surprised that there were as many cellists as, as we had. Uh, that were able to do that. Uh, they must have had quite a lot of it already under their fingers. Uh, the development for me of the website was a, a totally new field. But with David Terrasas and his associate, um, Simone Williams, um, I've learnt an enormous amount. And I've become almost inspired, not by so much by the competition, but by what technology can provide for us today. If you have a look at the website, apart from the rules and uh, repertoire and, and entries and all that sort of stuff, there's a section over on the far side of the website which has education. And that now sets out where you can learn the cello, uh, places to learn the cello in Australia and New Zealand, and that's going all over the world. Section on profiles, which has really got me going. Um, when I first came to Sydney, I sat next to an elderly lady. Uh, I was, I think, 16. She looked to be about 150 to me. Uh, it transpired, if you look at the web, there's a cello, bits of cello all over the web. That was her cello, which David found. Um, it's a testori cello, it's a very beautiful instrument. Um, she was from an ordinary family very successful as a, as a young musician, found a way to get to Europe and was the first female cellist of the legendary Pablo Casals for five years. She came back and was the principal cellist of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, the first female principal cellist for 20 years. So I'm determined now, if I possibly can, to use that to set up a, a recording of uh, the heritage that we have in Australia of cellists because we are not undistinguished. My teacher, Laurie Kennedy, was played the cello in a circus and he was dis uh, discovered by Dame Nellie Melba and taken to London and became Beecham's first cellist when he was forming the London Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, later, after, later he went to America, he became Stokowski's principal cellist. In fact, if you uh, listen to the old video of Fantasia, he's, he's playing in that recording with Stokowski. He c then came back to Australia, uh, and it was at that stage that I met him and was able to have some lessons with him. His son, John Kennedy, was also a principal cellist with Beecham, and uh, then came to Sydney and was principal cellist of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. And of course, many of you may have heard of, of the violinist uh, Kennedy. That's uh, uh, the grandson. So there's a, a real, a real uh, hierarchy there of cellists. And then there are a whole range of other cellists that we we will now be able to put on that web and show to the world that we have this heritage. So I'm very delighted with that. Anyway, I've talked enough. I think I should get on to announcing the um, winners of the second round, those that have gone through to the third round. 
in in uh, in surname alphabetical order, the first of the three is Gillian He, who was born in China, but went to Scotch College in Melbourne, Melbourne University, and the Royal Northern Academy in the United Kingdom. Second person to be mentioned as going through to the finals is Edward King, born in New Zealand, uh, educated in uh, Waikato University, and then uh, in Germany, in Augsburg in Germany. And the third uh, person to be mentioned alphabetically is Reuben Palmer, and Reuben is from Canberra, and I'd like to welcome his mum, his proud mum with us today. Um, he's now studying in Germany. So there we are, three very fine cellists who are going to give us a difficult time next March.